Welcome to Tech Beads. In today's video, we'll be showcasing some amazing inventions that are changing and fixing the world. From water generators to advanced drones and everything in between, these innovative creations are making a difference in people's lives. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And if you want to see more content like this, help me make better videos by subscribing to the channel. Introducing the Aska A5, a new addition to the fully functional flying cars available today. This cutting-edge invention is a four-seater electric flying car that uses a set of wings and drone-like propellers to achieve a maximum airspeed of 150 miles per hour and a total range of 250 miles per charge. With the windy nature of roads and the endless traffic, driving a normal car for 100 miles could take roughly two hours on a UK road. However, Flying the Aska A5 for the same distance would only take 40 minutes, which is truly remarkable. Despite its undeniable benefits, it's important to note that the Aska A5 may not be the most practical mode of transportation due to our current infrastructure. Unlike cars that can drive on roads, this flying car would require designated airways and landing areas, which can be quite limiting. Additionally, it may not be the safest option to fly alongside big lorries or other heavy vehicles, as it could potentially lead to accidents. While the Aska A5 is an impressive feat of engineering, it may not be the ideal choice for everyone. If you simply want to fly, a plane that can travel at 500 miles per hour might be a better option, which is three times faster than the Aska A5. However, if you're willing to invest in this cutting-edge technology, and can afford the hefty price tag of $789,000, the Aska A5 may be an exciting and unique addition to your mode of transportation. Have you ever dreamt of turning your 45-minute commute into a 10-minute flight? Well, now it might be possible, thanks to the Bell Nexus Air Cab. This five-seater vehicle is equipped with powerful engines that enable it to take off and land vertically. The pilot can control the air cab manually or entrust the process to the autopilot system. With several versions that have different ranges from 60 to 150 miles, the Bell Nexus Air Cab is perfect for carrying both passengers and cargo. And in the future, it could be integrated into urban air mobility systems to help save time which, let's face it, is the most important resource for most people. Personally, I think the Bell Nexus is a really exciting development in transportation technology. It has the potential to revolutionize how we get around and could significantly cut down on travel time. Of course, there are still a lot of regulatory and logistical hurdles to overcome before air cabs become a common sight in our cities, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Finding access to clean drinking water is a challenge that many modern cities face despite their technological advancements. This is where Carapure comes in. This generator produces up to two and a half gallons of clean, tasty, and mineral-rich water each day. The key feature of this generator is its ability to draw water directly from the air, resulting in water with an optimal pH level and containing magnesium, calcium, and other elements beneficial to the human body. The creators of Carapure emphasize the importance of drinking water for maintaining youthful-looking skin. The device guarantees the purity of the liquid through its built-in UV sterilizer, while also cleaning the air in the room by collecting harmful substances in special filters and ensuring an optimal humidity level. I think Carapure is a promising solution to the issue of accessing clean drinking water in cities. The fact that it can draw water directly from the air and produce mineral-rich water is impressive. I also appreciate the additional benefits of air cleaning and humidity control. However, the cost and accessibility of the device may be a barrier for some individuals and communities. Nonetheless, I believe this technology has the potential to make a positive impact on the quality of life in areas where clean drinking water is scarce.
Mango Power is a revolutionary power source that aims to protect your home and provide a backup battery during power outages. The device boasts a capacity of 6.9 kilowatt hours, which is one of the best indicators in the home power supply market. This means that you can use it to charge your smartphone up to 460 times, keep your fridge running for about 7 hours, or watch TV for almost 63 hours. One of the standout features of Mango Power is that it is equipped with 19 different ports for all occasions, from USB ports to electric car outlets. Moreover, it has two wireless panels for charging smartphones and a state-of-the-art technology that helps charge the battery to 100% in just two and a half hours. In my opinion, Mango Power is a fantastic innovation that addresses the growing need for reliable backup power sources. With its impressive capacity and multiple ports, it's a versatile and practical option for powering multiple devices and appliances during an outage. The wireless panels for charging smartphones are a particularly nice touch, making it easy to keep your devices charged even when the power is out. Overall, Mango Power is an excellent investment for anyone looking to keep their home and devices powered during emergencies. You have most probably heard about one of the most groundbreaking inventions in the tech industry, the neural interfaces. These microchips are not just implanted in your body, but directly connected to your brain. They can read your brain signals and communicate wirelessly with other technology. While neural interfaces are already being used in healthcare to treat various conditions, the possibilities are endless. Recently, a paralyzed patient was able to communicate with his family by spelling out letters one at a time, just by concentrating on those letters with his mind. Elon Musk's company, Neuralink, has even more ambitious goals, such as the ability to download data directly into your brain or send a text message to a friend without moving a muscle. It's even possible to watch a full-length movie like Fast and Furious in your head. The potential applications of this technology are mind-boggling. There's so much more to talk about when it comes to what Neuralink is doing. If you're interested in learning more, let me know and I'll make a dedicated video about it. The future of technology is exciting and it's amazing to see how far we've come. For years, we've been accustomed to the airport departure boards which display flight information in a cluttered and confusing manner. However, there is now a technology that promises to revolutionize this experience. It is called the Parallel Reality Display, which allows each individual to view information that is personalized to them. This is made possible by special pixels that can display a multitude of colors depending on the angle you view them from. This is paired with a motion sensor that detects which passenger is looking at the screen and adjusts the display accordingly. This technology has the potential to transform many aspects of our lives beyond just airport displays. Imagine personalized billboards that show only the advertisements that are relevant to you or road signs that provide specific directions based on your destination. It's truly an exciting time to live in where innovative technologies are continuously emerging and changing the way we interact with the world around us. Have you ever thought about using your fingers as a pointing device for your computer? A team of experts from Switzerland has developed a unique ring that allows you to do just that. With this ring, you can control the cursor, scroll through pages, and perform other familiar operations on the screen using the movements of your fingers. What's great about this ring is that it doesn't require any additional apps and works via Bluetooth. Plus, it's so well protected against moisture that it can withstand hand or dishwashing. The battery lasts for 24 hours, and the device is suitable for both right and left-handed people. While this technology sounds impressive, it's important to note that the working surface must be more or less solid and monochrome, or errors may occur. However, this seems like a minor issue compared to the convenience and innovation that the Pardon Ring offers. Overall, I think the Pardon Ring is an exciting development that could change the way we interact with our devices. It's a unique and convenient alternative to traditional pointing devices, and I look forward to seeing how it evolves in the future.
A team of specialists from Japan has recently unveiled the world's first full-size drone with two arms, the Prodrone PD-6 BAW arm. This drone is a game-changer in the field of aerial technology, as it can lift and transport heavy objects weighing up to 22 pounds. With a maximum flight speed of 37 miles per hour, this drone can quickly deliver a life-saving ring to a person drowning in water. Weighing at 44 pounds, the PD-6BAW arm can fly for up to 30 minutes on a single charge and is capable of working in any weather condition. It can also climb up to an altitude of 3.1 miles. This drone has been specifically designed to keep people safe in a variety of scenarios, such as working at high altitudes or handling dangerous loads. I find the PD-6BAW arm drone to be a remarkable development in the field of drones as it can serve multiple purposes and assist in various emergency situations. With its ability to lift heavy objects and deliver them to remote locations, this drone can revolutionize the transportation and logistics industry. The PD-6BAW arm drone is a true example of human innovation and creativity, which can bring about a positive impact on society. The issue of launching satellites into space has become more pressing with the rise in demand for high-speed internet access. Currently, there are over 5,000 active satellites orbiting the Earth, and this number is projected to increase tenfold by 2030. However, launching these heavy objects into space requires a tremendous amount of fuel and is not sustainable in the long term. Enter Spin Launch, a new launching system that offers a fresh approach to this age-old problem. Set to launch in 2025, this system employs a giant vacuum-sealed wheel in which a satellite is spun as fast as possible with no air resistance. When the satellite is released, it has so much momentum that it can almost reach space without using any fuel. This new technology not only reduces fuel usage by 4 times and costs by 10 times, but it also allows for multiple satellites to be launched from the same site in a single day. While Spin Launch solves future greenhouse gas emission problems, direct air capture tackles the existing mess we've made. Instead of merely reducing greenhouse gas emissions, direct air capture works by taking excess carbon dioxide back out of the air. The process involves drawing air into a chamber using a large fan and passing it through a chemically active filter that traps only carbon dioxide particles. The chamber is then heated to 100 degrees Celsius causing the CO2 to evaporate into a pipe that sends it underground. The purified air is then released back into the atmosphere. Separating pure carbon dioxide from the air opens up new possibilities, such as using it to make fuels, plastics, fertilizers, and more. Innovation and problem-solving like spin launch and direct air capture give hope for a cleaner and more sustainable future. It's exciting to see how technology can address current and future environmental challenges. When it comes to augmented reality interfaces in the gaming industry, there's still a long way to go before they become truly ideal. However, in the realm of cars and other equipment, a system that displays a wealth of useful data right on the windshield is already available. It's called Wear AR, and according to its developers, it can be customized to meet the unique needs of each user. For instance, race car drivers might want to see the optimal trajectory for entering a turn, while regular drivers might prefer to see the timing of traffic lights. The display can even be used in water and air vehicles, but that's not all this technology can also be integrated into buildings, so you can check the weather forecast or other data simply by looking out the window. The team behind Wear AR uses the latest solutions in optics, holography, and chemistry to bring this cutting-edge technology to life. They also develop all of the necessary software themselves. In my opinion, 
Wayray AR is an exciting development that has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with our vehicles and the world around us. I love the idea of being able to customize the display to suit my individual needs, whether I'm on the racetrack or just driving to work. And the fact that it can be integrated into buildings is just the cherry on top. I'm curious to see how this technology will continue to evolve and expand in the years to come. The Wing Board is an exciting new development in the world of extreme sports. It's like weightboarding, but in the sky. Imagine being able to hook onto the back of an airplane and carve through the clouds and sky just like you do on a snowboard or surfboard on the ground, but in three dimensions. The idea for the winged board actually came from a childhood cartoon called Tailspin. As a kid, I used to watch the show every day after school, and I always thought the winged board was the coolest thing. I loved the idea of hopping out of the back of an airplane, strapping on a little wing to my feet, and grabbing onto a rope behind the plane to carve through the sky. The winged board is currently in phase 3 of development. Phase 1 was a small six-scale model that proved out the aerodynamics and control methods, while Phase 2 was a 40% model that had a human analog rider on it. This allowed the developers to test human movement, as well as figure out all the necessary safety features. Now, in Phase 3, the first human rider will get to try out the board and provide feedback on what needs to be tweaked and improved. This is a crucial step in preparing for the first manned flights. To ensure safety, the developers needed a controlled environment to test the board in. That's why they chose to come to ACE, where they could work up and let the rider get a feel for the board before strapping them to an aircraft. It's important to know that a human can actually ride the board before taking it to higher altitudes. The people involved in this project have been incredibly helpful every step of the way. This is a developmental project, so it's always uncertain what each day will bring. But everyone has been so supportive and collaborative, making this project an unqualified success. I think the wing board is an incredibly innovative concept, and I can't wait to see how it develops further. The idea of weight boarding in the sky is both thrilling and terrifying, but it's also a testament to human ingenuity and determination.